So you started DJing on Twitch, right? Cool. I did too. What's up everybody, it's your boy Ashton, also known as DJ Guardian, and I'm going to tell you the top five things that every DJ on Twitch should have. Let's go. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is for the people who only have their phone to, to use on Twitch. So that first thing is a stream bot. Alright, so you can use your stream bot for several things. First of which is get notified when somebody follows you, subscribes to you, tips you, or anything like that. The second thing you can use it for is for chat commands where you could type in a certain command and the bot will reply accordingly. Another thing you could do is set up a bot to do a time message reminding your audience to tip, check out your SoundCloud, check out your socials, and stuff like that. And of course you can use the bot to block out any kind of profanity in whatever language or accent you may find. Alright, so there's many places where you could get a bot. Uh, I personally use Stream Elements. Uh, but you could go to Streamlabs and I'm sure there's tons of other places where you could just connect your Twitch account and connect the bot to your account so they can, in a sense, moderate your channel. For Stream Elements, I, I believe is relatively straightforward. All you have to do is literally connect your Twitch account and go into Twitch and make the Stream Elements bot uh, a moderator on your channel. And that's basically how you enable it to do certain things. So if you're one of those DJs who only has a one camera setup or I should say one phone setup, that you're streaming to definitely get a stream bot and the definite thing you need to activate on there is the chat alerts this is so that you can see who cheers who follows who hosts you who raids you all within the chat command from whatever device you're using to monitor i also use the stream elements bot for certain timers so i have a timer to remind people that they can tip I have a timer to remind people to you know represent where they're from to kind of intrigue the chat to say something and of course i have a timer to remind people that they could subscribe to my channel for free using amazon prime so those are just examples of some time chat commands that you could do with your stream bot so what i also have set up with my bot is something called chat commands or custom chat commands so if somebody mentions soundcloud or youtube I have the bot automatically send out my personal YouTube link and my SoundCloud link whenever those keywords get mentioned. So that's a very useful tool, especially if you don't have an OBS setup and you're just using your phone to stream. So this will enhance your stream greatly. All right, so the second thing I think every DJ should have is a nice simple overlay, which just shows all your social media handles, what radio station you might be playing on, etc. The simpler, the better. I should be following my own advice on that one, but I like to get crazy with things, but uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it up. Basically, as a DJ, I'm assuming you know some kind of flyer designer, graphic designer, or somebody who did your logo already. They could create you a simple logo, fairly cheap, if not for free. If not, uh, you probably have a little bit of Photoshop knowledge. If you're a DJ in 2020, you need to know some of this stuff. So to make one is fairly simple, all you're going to do is just create a square within the square and then add your social media handles on the bottom. If not, my Fiverr link is down below just in case you want me to make you a simple one. Right? Right. Alright, so for the third thing I think every DJ should have on their stream is an emote wall or an emoji wall or a stream elements called Capigen. Basically, it takes all the emotes or emojis from the chat and puts it up on screen and it can do some kind of effect like bubble, uh, bounce around, uh, stuff like that. I find this to be the coolest way for your audience to interact with your stream, kind of give you some support, kind of get you pumped up to play the next tune or to let you know you're doing a good job. For the emote wall, uh, I use, again, use stream elements. It's a one-stop shop for me. Trust me, you're going to hear stream elements a lot. All you got to do to add an emote wall or a capogen to your stream is create a new overlay within stream elements or stream labs. You create a new overlay, you add the capogen, you configure your settings, and then you copy that link that stream elements gives you. What you're going to do in OBS is create a new browser source and paste the link in that browser source and then configure it wherever you want on your stream. Now, before we go any further about browser sources, I do recommend having a different browser source for every element of your stream. So one browser source for your emotes, one browser source for your goals, one browser source for your tips, another browser source for anything else. So that way you can move them around individually if you have multiple scenes. Once again, I use Stream Elements, but you can use Streamlabs uh, version as well. Um, I just prefer Stream Elements because it has so many things I use in one platform. Alright, this next one is going to be up to your preference. 
Um, I think it's awesome, um, but some for some people it might be cleaner not to use it. But that is adding the chat to the actual stream itself, so you can see the chat on screen. I personally use Restream because I stream to multiple platforms, but you could just grab your chat from Stream Elements or Stream Labs as well, but that will only be from Twitch. Another thing to think about when you're adding your chat is to add it somewhere that you're going to be looking at in the chat. So for example, for my chat, I'm looking to the left, uh, to my right, but to your left. So I put my monitor to the left of the screen of what you're watching so that way it looks like I'm looking at the chat. It's just those little things that I that I look at that makes the stream better and I and I see that it, a DJ took a lot of thought to, to putting into it. Uh, for me it just happened spontaneously but I liked how it turned out because it really looks like I'm looking at the chat when people are chatting. Uh, in reality I'm actually looking at a monitor right next to me. To add an on-screen chat to your stream is the same thing as before. You're just copy pasting copy pasting you're copy pasting a browser link into a OBS browser source and like I mentioned before it's good to keep all those browser sources separate so you can move it around how you like to and real quick going back to the overlays if you think about putting in a chat make sure you think about that when you make your overlays you got to leave room for a little chat window so that way it looks clean and it's not overlapping anything or it's not intruding on any part of your video the last thing I want to talk about is stream alerts. So that's the little gif that comes up when somebody follows or somebody tips or somebody cheers. Something happens on screen that lets the person know that you know you received it or it's just something cool that the person could see that you know they interacted with your stream. For DJs, I think the most important alert you need to set up is the follow alert and then eventually the subscriber alert when you become affiliated. But you can also have alerts for when somebody hosts the stream, raids your stream. Uh, we'll get that in another video, so make sure you uh, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and that video will come sooner, the faster you hit that like button. Right, right, all right, next. All right, to set up your stream alerts, once again, I use stream elements. So you're gonna create a whole new overlay and then add the, the alert box. When you add the alert box, you could customize it. You can add your own GIFs, add your own sounds, and then place it wherever you want on screen. Like I mentioned before, you create your alert box separate from all your other overlays, so that way you can move it around. Once you're done creating your uh, alert box overlay, once again, you just copy paste uh, the link that Stream Elements gives you and put it into a browser source in OBS, and then there you go. You have Stream Alerts when somebody follows, tips, or hosts, raids, whatever. Alright, so that's all I have for you for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If so, make sure you hit that like button. If not, then hit the dislike button twice. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos. I do have a lot more Twitch videos that I do have planned coming out. And then after that, it's back to the regular programming of equipment reviews. By the way, you got a new camera. Link it down below if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to check out my Twitch, my Twitch link is also down below. Um, make sure you give me a follow or come through. Um, say hi. I do happy hour at home every Friday starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hope to see you soon. I'll check you guys in the next video. Later.